Om Om Namaste. Welcome, welcome to today's yoga class. Hi. Well, today is kind of special. It's uh, in the United States. It's still counting the ballots for the election for president, for the next president. So my heart is kind of beating faster than usual. <laughs> Well, let's take a gentle, gentler approach today for our yoga practice. So let's come to Shavasana to start. So just lay on your back. If you want to have an, a more open heart approach, use the little cushion, or if you have two blocks, put under, you know, one block under the back and the other to support your head. But if you do have a cushion, so use block. If you have block, if you have cushion, just use cushion. And for now, I put the cushion right under my shoulder so my shoulders can fall, heart can open. And keep your feet apart and let your arms spread out keep your eyes closed i just stay here for five minutes of meditation just feeling that arrival to your mat you can keep your eyes closed or soft gaze Let's start by belly breath, very gentle. Inhale, let your belly rise, only belly rise, and exhale, belly fall. And slowly start to deepen your breath, feeling your belly rise and fall. If you're new to belly breathing, put your left hand on the, on the belly and the right hand on your heart center. Just only let your belly move up and down. Now start to deepen your breath even a little bit more. On the inhale, let your belly rise and make it as full as you can. On the exhale, let your belly go toward your spine. Squeeze out the air as much as you can, but without any strain. When you feel you don't need your hands on the belly, just let your arms spread wide. Continue your belly breath breathing. Now bring your awareness to your crown of your head and the back of your head, let it be heavy. You can roll your head left and right gently. And relax the back of your neck. And relax your shoulders. Let your shoulders naturally fall toward the mat.
feeling that expansion of your chest when you inhale. And the relaxation when you exhale. And relax your belly. Return to your natural breathing. Relax your hips. Relax your thighs and knees. Relax your calf muscles and ankles. Now bend both your knees and get your soles of feet together. So we come to the butterfly pose for the legs. The soles of feet together, knees fall away from each other. Relax even more of your hips. And slowly use your hands to close your knees together, both feet on the floor. And roll to your one side. Cradle your head with one arm. Stay here for one breath. And then at your own pace, push yourself to seated position. Keep your eyes closed, come to a easy sit. Keep your hands on the knees, palm facing up. Feeling that effect of your open chest and relaxed shoulders. Palms together in front of your heart, base of the thumbs pressing against your chest bones, just feeling your own heartbeat. Let's recognize our own existence. Set the intention for today's practice in the theme of peace. What does peace mean to you? So set the intention with the theme of peace. So for example, you can say, I am peaceful or I have a peaceful mind, regardless what happens. Or you can say, I'm feeling peaceful, responding to any type of situation in my life. Now just take that positive statement of your intention in your heart three times. It's your mantra for today's practice. Now gently release your hands to your knees and open your eyes.
All right, so let's start with some very gentle um, upper body uh, stretches. So this time just do some shoulder rolls upper and back. Inhale up and exhale go down. Do it slowly. Inhale up, exhale go down. And now inhale up, exhale forward and down. Inhale back and up, exhale forward and down. Inhale back up, exhale forward and down. Now let's go to the neck exercise. Keep your palms facing up on the on the knees. Just turn your head to the right and then back to center. Turn your head to the left, back to center. Now let's do it with the breath. So inhale back to center, exhale, turn. So it might take longer for you to turn if your breath is longer. So take at your own pace. So inhale back to center, exhale, turn. Inhale back to center, exhale, turn. So you can close your eyes. Just start only sense your own neck. How does your neck feel when you turn? One more round each side. Next time, meet at the center. You can open your eyes. Now we do the ear to uh, shoulder drop. So this time you can keep your hands hover onto your mat, just like slightly touch. Keep your spine straight first. So inhale, keep crown toward the ceiling and on the exhale, right ear to right shoulder. You're feeling that stretch on your left side of your, and then inhale back to center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Just be very gentle and at your own pace. You can close your eyes, just sense the shoulder and neck connection. On the exhale, always just let go. For the next time, your right ear come to the right shoulder, stay there. Now just stay here and keep your normal breathing and sense your left shoulder to left side of your neck, the stretching. Completely relax your left shoulder. Now slowly turn your head toward the mat. Going forward, roll your head to the right ear to the right, uh, left ear to the left shoulder. Now stay here. Next, inhale, roll your head to the center and then exhale, roll your right ear to right shoulder once more. And just stay here and observe your own body. On the inhale, always feeling that stretchy sensation. On the exhale, let go of every tension. And for next breath, roll your head forward and then left ear to left shoulder. Now stay here. On the inhale, feeling that the right shoulder and the right side of your neck stretchy sensation and the exhale, just let go of all the tension. And then slowly dip your chin to the chest and stay here and lift your sternum. 
So your chest is going up, your chin goes to the chest. And slowly head come back to center. Now inhale, stretch your arms wide and slowly rise. And as you slowly rise, feeling your body change that sensation. As close as you can be, maybe your palm can even be together. Now look up to your palms, interlace your fingers, palm facing up to the ceiling. Just inhale, stretch up. One more time. Exhale, fold forward from your hips, palms facing forward and down, and then your fingertips on the floor. Walk your fingertips forward even more. As much as you can, keep looking at your fingertips. Keep your chest toward the floor. So keep your spine straight. Look toward the fingertips. And now keep looking at your fingertips, chest close to the floor, walk your 10 fingertips to the right. Walk really slowly, one inch at a time. Now observe your left rib cage, left hip, and the left shoulder. Walk so slowly so that you can observe all the sensation. Once you get to the rightmost, Part, put your palms down and then melt your chest to the right thumb, the right thigh and forehead between your elbows. Take three conscious breaths here. On the inhale, feeling the expansion of your left side rib cage. On the exhale, consciously relax your left hip down. Now put your left palm on top of the back of your right hand, interlace the fingers, and feeling that a little more stretchy and expansion on the left side. Now release your hands come back to your fingertips look forward to the fingertips now walk your fingertips slowly toward the left so slow you keep your chest low toward the floor and keep looking to your fingertips very slowly and keep reaching further away from your hips feeling the sensation of your right side your cage to the right hip once you're here melt your chest toward your left thigh put your palms onto the floor melt your forehead between your arms and chain to your left knee and take three conscious breaths Every inhale, feeling that expansion of your right side rib cage. And exhale, relax your right hip down to the earth. Left. Just feeling the lengthening of your right side. Now slowly release your palms and come back to your fingertips. Look at your fingertips. Now walk them back to center. Walk them slowly and observe your two sides of the rib cage. How does it change the sensation? And then once you're in the middle, put your palms down again. Just melt your forehead onto the floor. 
And now inhale consciously and feeling the expansion of your back, the upper back. And then exhale, melt your chest toward the floor. Inhale, feeling your shoulder blades open away from each other. Exhale, melt your chest toward the floor. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Now look forward to your palms. Just push your palms, get yourself back to center. And also do it slowly and consciously observing your body. Keep walking your palms behind your buttocks as far as you're comfortable. Now lift chest toward the ceiling. Get your chest up. If your neck is okay, then let your neck go back. And then slowly walk your palms back to center, your head come back. Now this time, if you're cross-legged, change the crossing of your leg. We will do a little more uh, easy twist, seated twist. So inhale, keep reaching your left hand to the ceiling and then left hand outside of your right knee and put your right hand behind the buttocks. Then turn your belly, chest, shoulder to the right. At last, turn your head over to the right side of your shoulder. So stay here. Every inhale, reach the crown to where the ceiling sits taller. And exhale, just let the twist happen. One more inhale, sit taller, reach your crown to where the sky. Exhale, twist a tiny bit more. And next, inhale, come back to center. And now reach your right hand up to the ceiling. Sit tall, right hand outside of left knee, left hand behind the buttocks. Now sit tall, then turn your belly, chest, shoulder to the left. Last, turn your head to the left. Look over to the left shoulder. Inhale, sit taller, reach crown toward the sky. Exhale, let the twist happen. Twisting poses are detoxification for your body. One more inhale, reach crown toward the sky. Exhale, turn a little more. And inhale, slowly come back to center. Very nice. Now sit on the uh, legs in the front. We'll do another twist. This time, right, bend your right knee, put your right knee outside of left uh, thigh. So reach your left hand up and then wrap your left um, arm around your right thigh and then put your right hand behind turn your belly chest so this you will also feel a little bit of outer hip stretch so sit taller on the inhale and on the exhale turn to the right to over to your right shoulder now flex your right foot so your right toes are pointing toward the sky very nice. And now just feeling the right outer hip and keep pulling your right thigh toward your chest. Pulling your right thigh toward your chest. And then slowly come back to center. 
Now let's change sides, stretch your right leg straight, bend your left knee, put your left foot outside of your right thigh, and then wrap your right arm around your left thigh. Turn your belly chest shoulder to the left. Put your left hand behind your buttocks. Sit taller. And also try to keep your left thigh toward the chest. And turn. Flex your right foot so your right toes are pointing toward the sky. Observe your left outer hip around outside of your sitting bone. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly turn back to center. Now put your hands behind your back and we will do um, a tabletop, but we do this uh, a movement first. So inhale, lift your buttocks to reverse plank and then point your toes. If your knees are fine, point your toes toward the floor. Very good. Exhale down. So we do that five times. Inhale up. Exhale down. Use your core. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time, inhale up. Now stay here, stay here. You can look at your belly button, engage your core, engage your thighs and your calf muscles. Keep your chest open. Stay here. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, 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 two, two, one. Next, exhale, slowly come down and then come back to center. Walk your fingertips forward. Let's just relax on the forward fold with very relaxed so put your cushion or uh, or your blocks to support your forehead just stay here complete relaxation And slowly come back to center. Then we will do the butterfly. So um, keep your soles of feet together. And then grab the ankles. And then just sit tall. And then fold forward from the hips with spine straight. And put your elbows toward the knees and thighs. Just try to keep down a little bit. Bend your elbows, chest forward. So no rounding the spine, chest forward. If this is how far you go, stay here. Keep your shoulder down. Stay here. And now just walk your fingertips forward. We do a relaxed version of butterfly. So if you do have a block or anything to support your head, use that. And completely relax here. Relax your thighs, your knees. Take three conscious breaths for the feeling of your upper back as well as your lower back.
Now observe your mind. Are you peaceful? One thing we can always work on is being peaceful with ourselves. Observe any tension and let go of it. Observe your mind. Whether you want any control of your body, and maybe let go of that control and make peace with your own body. Now slowly push yourself back to seat it. And then let's do white legged foot forward. So keep your legs wide, as wide as you're comfortable. So I usually like to sit on the cushion or a, uh, a stack of blanket and keep your wide leg as wide as you feel comfortable. Um, prefer preferably you pad your uh, feet, your heels so you're comfortable, not on the floor. So just keep walking your fingertips forward. If you do have the block, keep it handy. So when you walk forward enough, you can start to melting toward the floor. If this is how far you can go, Keep your spine straight first. Just keep your spine straight. If you need to let your head go down, then use a prop. So never sacrifice your spine. And feeling your body. Wherever your body has the sensation, recognize it. Now maybe you can walk your palms forward a little more, or maybe you can even put your forearms on the floor. If your hand can be supported by a block or two, please do that. And take three more conscious breaths here. Inhale, feeling the every part of your body that has a sensation. And exhale, just let go of the tension, any tension. Now slowly push your palms toward yourself and come back to center. And then bend your right knee. And this time we will do a slight twist. So turn your chest parallel to the right knee. So your right foot is the same direction where you get right leg. Now put your right shoulder inside and then wrap your right hand behind so it reaches your reaches your back then use your left hand go back to bind so grab the hand behind and turn your chest toward the ceiling very good turn your chest toward the ceiling yes and keep your right heel as close to your um, buttocks as possible. Turn your left shoulder away and look up to the ceiling.
and then slowly turn your head to where the mat, release your bind, and keep your right leg back to I did the other side. Bend your left knee, keep your left heel toward your sit bones, and then turn your left shoulder inside of your right knee and bind your left arm behind and then reach your right hand behind to grab the left wrist. Now turn your chest toward the ceiling and look up to the ceiling. Very good. And every inhale, just try to turn your chest toward the ceiling a little more. Feeling that twist and side bend and shoulder opening. And then exhale, release your bend, turn your head back to the mat, release your left leg. And then we would do the forward fold once more. Walk your palms forward. And then this time maybe your forearms on the floor. And release your forehead down. Just for three breaths. And then slowly come back to center. And then we'll do a and twist it. So turn your torso to your right leg. So your chest is facing toward your right foot. And then reach your both arms up and down toward your right foot. Maybe you can grab the right foot or the right shin bone. Just keep turning your chest toward your right thigh. And keeping your chest toward the right knee. You can micro bend your right knee feeling that right hamstring stretch. And then slowly release your hands from your shin or your right foot and slowly come back to center. Now turn your chest to the left side. Sit tall, reach your hands and then fold from your hips forward. Keep your chest forward. So then you grab your right, left shin bone or left ankle, left foot, and keep chest toward me. Maybe you can even bend your elbows. Maybe you can micro bend your left knees to feel more of your hamstring. You can just look toward your left big toe. And then slowly release your hands and come back to center. Now come onto your, uh, your belly. Let's do the Sphinx pose. So it's easy. So we did some forward bend. Now it's a, a gentle back bend. So keep your elbows either below directly under your shoulders or if it's too much, Shift it forward. So let your belly be relaxed on the mat. Back of the toe, back of your feet relaxed. So stay here. And now pressing your elbows onto the mat, lift your chest just a tiny bit, feeling that chest opening and maybe feeling a little more compression on your lower back. Now, if your elbows is in front of your shoulders, move your elbows directly under your shoulders. 
Now press your elbows, lengthening your spine. Reach the crown toward the sky. So your ears are away from your shoulders. It creates a deeper feeling and sensation of the lower back. Now pull your palms toward your chest and chest forward. Inhale there and feeling that chest opening and sternum going toward the front. And exhale, relax. Now do that with breath. On the inhale, pull your palms toward your chest, chest forward. Exhale, relax. Inhale, pull. Very nice. Exhale, relax. One more time. Inhale, pull. Exhale, relax. Very good. Now put, fold your arms forward in the front, forehead on the forearms. Bend your knees one at a time. And then windshield wiper your knees, uh, your legs left and right. Then lower down. And then slowly put your palms under the shoulders. Tuck the toes behind, shift up and back to child's pose. So keep your knees wide open, toes touch. Sit your buttocks toward the heels and melt your chest toward the floor. Forehead on the mat. Keep reaching your palms forward, lengthening your spine. Get that sensation of opening on both sides of your rib cage, as well as the front side. And inhale, come to tabletop. We just do five cat and cow. Tuck the toes behind. Wrists directly under the shoulders, palms wide open. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, look up. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, round your lower spine, and relax your head. Inhale, do it at your own pace with the breath. Use the ujjayi breath. Last one. Once you finish, come to neutral spine and then shift up and back to downward dog. You can change your stance. If your hamstrings are still very tight, keep your feet a little wider. Now lengthen your spine, keep pushing your palms and tilt your sit bones toward the ceiling. Now while you stand your feet about hip width apart, try to reach your heels toward each other without changing the stance. Just feeling your hamstring activation. If you keep reaching your heels toward each other, and then relax. Now try that again. Keep reaching your heels toward each other. That creates an external rotation of your hips. Now inhale, slowly roll forward to high plank. Your wrists directly under the shoulders. And keep reaching your heels back, crown forward. 
lift your head a little bit so your spine is in one line. Tuck your belly button in toward your spine. Lift your kneecaps so you engage your thigh muscles. Inhale. Exhale, knees down, chest down, chin down. Hips are on toward the ceiling. Now inhale, shift weight forward to low cobra or upward dog. And then exhale, downward dog. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, shift forward to high plank. Exhale, knees down, chest down, chin down. Inhale, low cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Walk your feet toward your hands to forward fold. Hang here for inversion. That's the easiest. Head lower than your heart. And your hand. your knees, and then slowly run up one vertebrae at a time. Let your shoulders and arms be super relaxed. Head la also relaxed. Head come up last. Keep your eyes closed. Once you're up, roll your shoulders up and back three times. And next, inhale, stretch your arms wide and up. Palms together. Lightly turn back. Stay here. And then next, exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Place of palms against your chest bone. Just stay here, keep your eyes closed. Feeling your heartbeat. Recognize again your own existence. And then slowly keep your hands toward the toes. Go to forward fold again. Just relax. And then keep your feet wider and we come to yogic squat. And just sit bones, sit your hips down and then your elbows against your knees palms together in front of heart. Now keep your sit bones toward the mat and crown toward the sky. Just stay here. And feeling that effect. Be peaceful with your own body. Now open your eyes. If crow pose is in your practice, then we can shift the palms forward on the floor. Come on to your tippy toes. What I do is usually I also use a block behind so I can stand a little bit higher. You don't have to do this. This is a very strength building um, pose. And then your knees toward your uh, upper arm or your um, your armpits and look forward. Just take one foot off at a time and wherever you are, stay there. Just take a few try. And great.
Look forward. Yes, look forward. And keep breathing. And then come back. Very nice. And then just come to your back on the floor. Laying on the back on the floor, feet on the floor. Put your right foot on top of left thigh and lift your left foot off. Interlace the fingers behind the left thigh for a figure four. If you want a more active version, you can keep pulling your left thigh toward your chest and using the right elbow to push away your right thigh from your chest. Flex your right foot. If you want the relaxed version, just no need to do any effort. Keep your shoulders relaxed on the floor. Back of the neck, relax. And then slowly lower down your left foot and change sides. Put your left foot on top of right thigh. Flex your left foot. Now lift your right foot off the mat. Interlace the fingers behind the right thigh. If you want the active version, then pull your right thigh toward your chest and push your left thigh away with your left elbow. Feeling that stretchy of your left outer hip. Relax the back of your neck. Relax your shoulders. And then slowly let down your right foot. And the last one, you do a little inversion for the shoulder stands. So let your feet up and support your lower back with your both hands. And come to shoulder stands. So point your toes toward the ceiling. And get your legs engaged so you are straight up. And not just lending the weight on your shoulders. And if you're ready, reach your right foot over your head behind. Or maybe your right toe reach the floor. You can also bend your knees, bend your right knee. And then change sides. So right foot back up to the ceiling and reach your left toes behind over your head to the floor. Then slowly reach your right foot behind your head to a plow pose. You can straight your elbows, so interlace the fingers so your both arms are on the floor for support. And your big toes are on the floor behind your crown. You can bend both knees if that's necessary for you. Now bend both knees so your knees are really close to the temple with control. Come out by lower down your vertebrae one at a time. 
Use your palms on the floor for support. Use your core. Slowly count back down. And then extend your legs down to the mat for Shavasana. Now spread your arms wide and palms facing up. Gently close your eyes. Bring your awareness to your head. Relax the area between your eyebrows. Let your eyes sink into the eye sockets. Relax your face. Relax your jaw. Relax the back of your head. Relax your mind. Now bring your awareness to the shoulders, your arms. Relax them. Bring your awareness to your torso, front, side, back, and the side. Relax all the organs inside. Bring your awareness to your hips, your thighs, knees, calf muscles, ankles, feet. Relax your lower body entirely. Just to relax. Stay here for five or 10 more minutes. Please be gentle when you come out. Take your time. Thank you for being here. Practice with me. I wish you well. I wish you happy.
I wish you have no suffering. Sending you love and light from my heart to your heart. Namaste.